All right, on the phone with us, we have a multi-talented producer, comedian, <laughs> event coordinator, Mickey Hughes. Good morning. Good morning, Cal. How are you? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. Oh, man, this is great. This is, you know what, I love the fact that uh, you have come up with a way around this whole COVID thing once again with your creative brain. You said, you know what, uh, we need some humor in our lives right now, and you're making Comedian of the North 2021 happen again, and I'm excited for this. I think a lot of comedians are dying to get, you know, get their material out there as well. Awesome. Yeah, no, I'll pretend that I invented Zoom comedy. I'll do that. <laughs> I'm, I'm all over. You know what? I'm, it's not bad. I'm pretty good. I'm, I'm kind of proud of that now. So that's like my first question because I think a lot of people want to know that because we've seen like concerts live streamed and it's easy. It seems easy to do concerts on a Zoom call. Is, is it easy to do comedy on a Zoom call like that? So the fun part is that there are all kinds of ways that this can get messed up. But okay, fortunately, great. there's been enough people ahead of me to do large, uh, to do large events. And they've happened with you know, like 100 people. And it's not just a Zoom call like you would be on. It's actually it's a completely different platform. Platform. I use, I use the computer. <laughs> into, but I, I don't want to get, I don't want to get technical. Sure, keep it simple. Um, because I'm really bad at it. So what I do is just we just bring in like five people at a time, oh. sort of thing. So if you've seen any of the, um, if, if you've been in a, in, in a Zoom conference or if you've seen Zoom comedy, you, you're aware of the setup. So I'm just going to follow what everybody else has been doing and. <laughs> and hope for the best. My my big thing was I don't know how it would be like if somebody had like a leg on their feet and then they laughed at like an awkward time. Could that throw the whole show off? No, it's not because everything's individual segment. So I'm going to be uh, behind the scenes the entire time, okay. doing sound checks, making sure everyone's lined up, making sure that there's audio visual. Like it doesn't matter. It'd be nice to have a nice clear picture, but the audio is kind of important, right? right. We've, we've seen, we see it. We see it on we see on the news where mm-hmm. they'll be like, oh, we're bringing in so and so professional from wherever, and they come in and it's fuzzy and you can hardly hear them. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I, gotcha. I, can do, I can do fuzzy and can hardly hear me. So why don't I do this? It's uh, 25 comedians over two nights and so um the my question is uh, the audience like is there going to be uh, people like you can hear people laughing in the background to the jokes like how is that going to work i'm gonna have a peanut gallery i can have 10 people on the screen at the same time cool okay so there's going to be yeah, there's gonna be three three judges and maybe some maybe some laughers might be nice <laughs> so anybody with the link will just We'll just be able to watch and see whatever's on the screen at any given time. And I'm just going to be moving around little people boxes. Like, I'm going to bring somebody up. They'll do their five minutes, move them out, bring the next person up, maybe bring some judges up for some commentary um, at certain points. And it's just going to run the way the other ones ran. Where it's going to be 15 people the first night and then 10 people the, the next 10 the, the following night. And then the, the judges are going to decide right then and there. What are the top five out of all 25? Those five people go again. So. Okay, okay. Um, I want to get to the judges because you're bringing in some pretty special guests for this. I'm going to let you do the reveal. Who are the judges on the panel this year, Mickey? I'm bringing them all the way into the Internet. We've right. got uh, Lori Gibbs. She's a comedian in – I opened for the Edmonton Comedy Festival, and uh, she's she's amazing and super lucky that she said yes. Cool. So. Uh, I asked uh, Rocky Laporte. He's going to be a judge as well. Right on. And, uh, yeah, so get this. Ed the Sock. <laughs> okay. Ed the Sock <laughs> is still around? Wow. I haven't heard that name in forever. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah, no. He's making a huge comeback. Um, I, I Check out his social media, his, like, Twitter following, even on, like, Facebook. He's rising back, and he's going to do, uh, he's going to do the show. Right on. It. That is really exciting. So if people that are going to be, uh, I guess, applying to be part of this show, do they have to just be from the North? No, no, no. It's, it, I mean, it can be from anywhere. Can't, Canada, the prize is Comedian of the North because uh, the beneficiary, the, the receiving charity, this is for charity, is the Hill City Connect. So the money stays here uh, in Thunder Bay. Well, it stays in northwestern Ontario. So it goes through the... Um, Habitat for Humanity. Perfect. So the money does stay in town, which is awesome. And uh, the little bonus, of course, if you do win the title, uh, what does the Comedian of the North actually win? <laughs> okay, so the, I guess the Comedian of the North wins $2,500 cash and a crown. And, and, a, and a crown. And, a crown. and then so the second prize winner gets 1500 bucks. Not too bad for 
sitting at home uh, <laughs> being really funny, and they get a book, and the book is called Not Everybody Gets a Trophy. I inscribe <laughs> it. Congratulations, you almost did it. And then the third prize is a um, 500 bucks and a, an I Participated ribbon. <laughs> That's <laughs> cute. I love that. <laughs> yeah. Are you still accepting submissions for comedians who want to give this a shot? Absolutely. Submissions just opened last week. Okay. So, and they're going to be open all month. They'll shut down on, the, on March 28th. And anybody can just send a link in and, uh, like, to a five-minute set. And then... We're just going to announce all of the. We're going to announce the final twenty-five on we're, <laughs> April 2nd. April second. Yes. Yes. All right. Right on. So, you could potentially, if you're someone in town who thinks you're kind of funny, you can send in the submission and potentially be judged by Ed the Sock. That sounds like a fantastic event. It's pro am. There's usually about five or six amateurs. Okay. Um, the rest are professionals. So amateurs have everything to win. If professionals have everything to lose and i don't know if this is if, if you can remember this but it's hey mickey at incidents.ca you send a an email there and i'll forward the link to be judged right on so you have until march 28th for that the actual show dates are may 3rd and 4th comedian of the north is back for 2021 thanks for entertaining us mickey <laughs> oh you're you're welcome it's my pleasure i love it